This is a debate about the acute existential risk posed by artificial intelligence systems with capabilities that we in this chamber can hardly imagine. Systems that we are hurtling towards at breakneck speed with little to no conception of the danger we are nurturing. AI has the potential to completely revolutionize how we envisage and practice healthcare. We are blindly growing increasingly competent minds while hoping that they are not so competent that they spin out of control and destroy our living environment. In a time of genocidal warfare, extreme income inequality driven by inflation and other economic practices, and at the same time, immense political division, I'm here to argue that the true existential threat is the concentration of power in the form of data in the hands of a few. Face recognition software in the hands of private entities or states poses an existential threat to privacy when combined with artificial intelligence. AI systems don't have motivations or intent. They operate based on pre-programmed rules and objectives that we give them and the data inputs that they learn from. These are elements that human developers can control and constrain. For example, misinformation is such a terrible issue. If we aim to ensure accurate and reliable responses from an AI system, we can limit its data to highly reliable ones. We are, as a matter of fact, right now, building creepy, super capable, amoral psychopaths that never sleep, think much faster than us, can make copies of themselves and have nothing human about them whatsoever. What could possibly go wrong? The kind of uh, existential risk doesn't, is not actually new you know, uh, in human civilization. Uh, if uh, I, well, Oxford University was created uh, when? It was uh, during the medieval age, uh, after basically you know, uh, a breakthrough made by printing press where books are made available you know, to every citizen. At, at that time, the church was actually having the similar type of fear like many people right now. Right. They said, oh, average people all get their book of Bible they can read and interpret by themselves. What if the book printed it wrong? Or what if they don't understand what it's saying? The, the world will collapse. Right. But what we actually see is the age of enlightenment.